Hello everyone, we are doing another video here. We're going to continue to play our priest deck. Uh, this video should have lower quality quality than the rest. I'm just trying to find the uh, best quality that I can find, but at the same time making the file size manageable for me to upload. This is a deck we are going to play today. Our typical priest list, as you can see, Circle of Healing, Smites, Power Word Shields, Northshire Clerics, Wild Pyro, Shadow Word Deaths, Guys, if you want to know about the deck list, just go to my channel. If you look at the top of the channel, uh, you'll see the banner with my info, and it'll say deck list. Click on deck list. It'll take you to my imager account that shows all the deck lists that I play uh, with the variations and why I use the very the, the small variations and changes. Um, this is a typical priest list that I've been running. As you notice, there's no longer any Tink Master, nor is there a Nat Pagel. Um, reason is simple. This deck gains control of the board really, really late, and it's very hard to keep a Nat Pagel safe um, to protect the Pagel. So because of that, um, and because of the fact that Pagel no longer draws at the end of the turn instead of the beginning of the turn, I went ahead and got rid of it, and I changed it for a second Northshire Cleric, which um, is doing pretty good. Um, I must admit, in the few games that I've played so far since the patch, um, it's been doing doing pretty well. Um, the other change is uh, drop the tank master, switch it with a big game hunter. So this is our third Shadow Word Death, basically. Uh, this allows us to use Shadow Word Death on shamans for the fire elementals, while saving this for something like a rag. Um, or, you know, for the variety of giants that uh, Handlock plays, or Alex Straza with warriors, uh, you know, whatever. Answers. And I've also gotten rid of um, uh, Defender of Argus, and I played Shenzhen Shield Master, and that's just typically because the early green creatures we have, um, we're usually using a lot of spells and healing power, um, and it's kind of hard to protect them and, and get full value out of a Defender of Argus. Instead, we go with the double Shenzhen Shield Master, and we're running Sylvanas instead of Cairn or Rag. Sylvanas, I think, is this is the time when you want to put her back in decks because she does crazy shit. So as you can see right now, we are ranked uh, rank six, nine games. We've won nine games so far, so we're doing pretty good. I believe we're nine and one or nine and two right now. Not too bad. Um, let's see if we can't break into at least the fives. It'd be nice. We get into the fives, we start getting really competitive. Man, look at we're getting real choppy here. What's up with the game? Another lock. Probably Zoo. Most likely Zoo. Usually, Northshire Cleric is not a card I keep against hand lock, or against any lock for that matter. But because I feel like lock, all the lock variations no longer play Shadow Bolt, uh, I think it's fine. And especially against Handlock, if he's going to waste a Soul Fire on it, that's a win for me. You know, uh, I'll Let me just readdress what I believe about Priest to be true, and that is Priest is all about making every one of your cards cost more than one of their cards. And some people would argue that that's the whole point of this game, is making uh, your opponent's cards uh, cost more than your cards, right? But um, I think with Priest, it's very relevant, very obvious that that has to happen. So we'll see. Um, he's got a life tap, right? There's no secrets here. No turn one play. What is this? Coin? Acidic Swamp Blues? Interesting. Interesting. I can do a couple things here. I can play this out. We're going to play it out. Uh, this might die, right? I mean, it might die. But now he has to choose between getting rid of that 4-3 or killing this. You know, I mean, Circle of Healing. Injured Blade Master, guys, because of the Circle of Healing interaction with him, it's almost an auto-include for me. Like, running that combo, just for to have the probability that you might be able to play that on turn 2 or turn 3, turn 2 with the coin, right? Uh, just to have that is a big deal because that is something that many decks cannot handle. Okay, especially because you have the healing power of priest, so um, that that's a significant um, 
value get there. So, we'll see. He's going to probably attack into one of these. He's going to have to. Um, I wonder. We'll see. And that's what he's debating right now. He's just saying, what am I going to do here? Five taps. Maybe looking for a soul fire. That's fine. Card for card. I traded a three for a uh, two. So that I'm. I guess we could say we're. I'm losing here, right? Um, but he did have to. No, he didn't coin it out. Yeah. There's a mountain giant. Many times we would be afraid of the mountain giant, yes. But today, my good friends, is not one of those days. We're going to get this guy to 1-5. We'll split the power of our cards amongst everything we have. Let's pray it's not another one of those, huh? We're hitting nice points on the curve. Uh, yeah, no, this is, this is fine. I think I made the right play. I want to keep these all above 3 health, 3 power. And or actually, I want to keep them all above 4 power because I'm worried about Soul Fire. I don't want Soul Fire to kick out one guy. You know. Tap in low. So it tells me he has a more, uh, Molten Giant. Well, it doesn't tell me he has a Molten Giant, but obviously, this is Hand Lock. And uh, playing out this uh, North Shire Cleric early forced him to play out that Acidic Swamp Ooze. So. Drops that. That's, uh, interesting. Coin into Defender of Argus, right? Shield or some Fury Protector. Very fine. We are very okay with that. So, just kill this. Kill this. Attack of face. We're okay. We want to keep pressure on him, so keep things off the board. Uh, ideally, I don't want to use that uh, Holy Fire on Ancient Watchers. Uh, I do want to use that on um, the so Giants, you know, Molten Giants, uh, Mountain Giants. That's where I want to spend that resource, but given the situation, I mean, he is, I am pretty sure that he has uh, Mountain Giant. So that's a nice move, nice play. Getting lower so we can drop that mountain giant for cheap. Um, let's see first. Oh, Sylvanas. That's a nice card. Cabal Shadow Priest. I actually like that. Let's just draw more cards. We got a good lead here, so. Nice. That's what we want to see. See, like these are these are the kind of cards that you want to answer hand lock. I still think that this matchup is very difficult for a priest. If you don't have one of the Shadow War deaths, a big game hunter or this, so one of your four cards, you're struggling, especially against Twilight Drake. The thing that's more scary, or scarier, I'm sorry, more scary, scarier than Mountain Giant and Molten Giant is Twilight Drake. That is a much harder threat to deal with than these giants, you know, because we have the value answer. So he doesn't know, but... He has hell to pay. So, you know, do not like, right? We'll do something right pretty cool here. That. That. Deal. Continue to keep cards in the hand and get value. We save this. This is just a spell. Okay, this is just plus one damage. This is basically what he is. So. We actually never want to cast him unless we're going to get full value out of him. We're reflecting 8 damage here. We're reflecting lethal. If he life taps and he doesn't put a taunt on a giant, then he will die. So, we are in a solid position. There's a mountain giant. There's another mountain giant. Or a molten giant. And there is something that could really just turn the game around and when I say that I mean not in our favor uh, I 
Now let's see what we can do here. Maybe we, maybe we take this. You know, let's do that. See, I'm debating. I could play this, and I could do this. That'll deal damage to everything. So that'll put this at 6. See, it's not worth playing that, so we're just going to heal this. Right? Oh, Shadow Word Death, huh? Alright, we'll do this. We have a nice board. I'm pretty sure that was the right play. I will not lie, an Alex Straza might be a little scary. I wonder. We're in a good position. These are not easy cards to deal with, so. We played this matchup right. We were very lucky to like. We like this warlock is life tapping every turn. It's not like he's not playing a bunch of big cards. Okay, he has card advantage, but the clerics have been giving us a bunch of cards. So, um, power word between power word shield and uh, Northshire cleric activations, um, we have we have we've kept up pretty well with our opponent. So. Uh, this is typically how I play the matchup, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'll I, admit that I think this matchup is very difficult. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So many Honestly, depending on what he plays, you could maybe, maybe he doesn't play anything. Maybe he just attacks the face and passes. Um, in which case, we death rattle that, take it, and go for lethal. Four, five, six, seven. I know. There's, there's a lot of plays, man. There's Twilight Trade, probably another time. It's good to me. We're gonna take that taunt. Um, actually, we do not need to take the taunt, do we? Consider. Now we take it. We take that. Huh? Kind of almost didn't want to play that because I feel like this will not have Shadow Word Death. No longer has the great targets. But if I can get a board clear, then I can get away with the Sylvanas into this maybe. There's another. You must answer this first, though. So. And I think a Shadow Flame is not even enough to answer this. Okay, well, that does answer that. <laughs> Mistakes. Ooh. Ah, oh, we're in decent shape here. So. Holy fire this guy. Okay, we're at full life, so we're gonna go ahead and just keep the pressure on. Here we go. Could have played the taunt, but maybe that's not necessarily right now. This is good pressure. He's stabilizing though. So he's got more cards than us. There aren't a lot of targets for Cobalt Shadow Priest, so we're probably gonna take this next turn.
was taking a lot of time to make these decisions. See, this is the thing with priests, man. Games are so long. This is already longer than a 10 minute game, I think. So many possibilities. But you know, the decisions really aren't on my side. Like, I rarely make decisions. I'm, I'm always like, I, like, unless I'm like, gonna die the next turn. Well, I get, and, you know, I guess this is the situation he's in. He's near death, right? But. Remember, he has no more giants. We killed all giants. Killed two molten giants. Killed two mountain giants. Power overwhelming and then shadow flame? No. Mortal coil? Okay. Good play. Decent play. I think, right? Kind of feel awkward. See, I don't want to just play that out. Now nah, we'll do something like this. Don't want to commit too many cards to the board. Two Sun Fury Protectors used, one Defender of Argus used. So he has one more Defender of Argus, one more Taunt in the deck. Still has Alex Straza, still has Jaraxxus. Those are two big things that can really switch the tempo of the game. Probably has Jaraxxus in hand. Um, I expect him to use it now because there's no way he can tap down any lower. Okay, maybe not. So here's the last Taunt. No. What is the play? So you know what, that was one of those situations where Let like, so disappointed, right? But, what else? It's fine. It's fine. Took a blood range. It's a great card to take. Jaraxxus is a problem. Uh, remember, we haven't pulled into our Ysera, but you want to get Ysera earlier. You need him earlier. Jaraxxus will be very difficult to deal with. Hmm. That I cannot lie about. More coil. Nice. No. See, the thing is, I could play this, I could steal that. I could heal it up. Um, I wonder. He used both. He used both of the soul shadow flames, so we know he doesn't have any more of those. I could make that play, but then if the Alex Straza comes out, I no longer have any answers to it because I've used up my shadow word deaths, and then I'm just you know at that point I'm just trying to get to the end of the game. Um, so and to be fair, a four six Twilight Drake is pretty easy to deal with. Like it's not. I may do this and you know they this may be the See he's taking he's thinking about Jaraxxus like Okay, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not thinking about Jaraxxus, my bad. I don't know if we have another North Shark Cleric yet. Wow, an Iron Beak Owl was not prepared for that. That's a good play. This is even a better situation for us, so. This is fine. We know Jaraxxus is coming out, and then. Like, let's see the Jaraxxus, you know? You have it, let's see it. The wrong play is Alex Straza. So if he plays Alex Straza here, that's worse for him. Much worse. Captain down pretty low. Oh, he can't play either now. I wonder. Well, yes, he used Soul Fire. Probably has Soul Fire. That becomes a play here.
I pray as I don't. I don't use both smites, right? So we we're very low. Jiraxis really puts him back in the game, so. Maybe I should have been more aggressive, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well. Oh, that's a card, so yeah. I'm almost out of cards. He has no more taunts. He used all his taunts, so he's dead. Can't kill this. No more mortal coils. He's lost. He didn't balance his resources. Good. Hmm. Siphon soul? My shield for He had one more time? Are you serious? I Fuck no it. Time for games. I, I can kill him, so that's why I'm doing this play. Yo, that's the play. There you go, guys. RNGesus. But you know, he had one card left. Uh, he, he, was, he was low. Almost into the fires. It's pretty good. Let's play more. <laughs>